Hello, hello, hello. Today I'm doing somewhat of a transformation video. <laughs> I'm starting off with a bare face and no hair and I'm going to add some hair and lots of makeup and get kind of spiffy for you guys. So if you guys want to know how I put on my 360 lace front pre-plucked wig, make sure you check out the video in my description box. I've already made a video detailing that. So I'm going to go in starting with my eyes and I'm using this Kylie Jenner bronze palette and I'm using this color to kind of set the concealer and the foundation I put on my eyes. This really isn't a eyeshadow color so to speak. Now I love putting on makeup, but I don't know like technical terms, but I'm pretty sure this shade right here is going to be my transition shade. I'm pretty sure that's the technical term. And I'm just putting it on the upper part of my eyelid and I'm going to blend that out on both eyelids. And once that's all smooth and blended in, I'm going to go in with this kind of dark brown color and put that right in my crease. Now I used a fluffier brush for the transition shade. For this one I'm using a skinnier flat brush just so it can be placed right there in the crease, right there in the middle. And I'm going to do that on either sides as well. And now the fun part, we're going to go in with this Estee Lauder eyeliner gel. It is in the color Stay Onyx and this is just a nice beautiful smooth eyeliner gel I absolutely love it now this gel is not very blendable but we're gonna address that in the next step but for now we're just going to smooth that out right above our lash line and right below that brown eyeshadow that we put in our crease so going in with this black eyeshadow we're gonna go right on the edge of that liner and blend it slightly into that brown eyeshadow to give it this nice airbrushed look and so that everything's kind of smooth and blended into each other and after that I went back in with the transition shade on the fluffy brush to kind of blend everything out and then I just repeated the process on my other eye in the same exact way <laughs> Now this is a smoky eye, so really take your time just blending everything out and making sure it looks smooth and that there are no harsh lines whatsoever. Every color should just gently blend into the next color. Once I was done, I had a lot of fallout, so I did go in with a makeup wipe to just clean up that fallout from under my eye. And I'm trash, like absolute trash at putting on <laughs> false eyelashes, so I did this off camera, but I'm using these faux mink Ardell lashes, which I actually really like. The band was really, really long, so I had to cut the inner corners a little bit, but other than that, I liked it a lot. And I just topped that with a little bit of eyeliner gel and some black eyeshadow to kind of blend it better. Now, the eyes are not completely finished, but I have to go in and do my foundation routine first. So I'm using this Fenty Beauty Pro Filter in the color 400. I'm just using a couple of pumps on a buki brush and I'm going to stipple that into my skin until I have full coverage everywhere. <laughs> After I got my foundation completely set and in place, I went in with this Fenty Beauty matchstick in the color Suede and I'm using this as my concealer. Now the reason why I love this is because it's going to clean up all of that eyeshadow we put in when you make the like straight line. You see that? You see how clean it looks now? Like you don't need to put tape under your eyes because concealer can clean anything up and give you that straight line that you might be looking for for a particular eyeshadow look. So I'm going to continue to apply this on my chin, on the bridge of my nose, and right there on the center of my forehead. Now once I had the concealer in place, I used that same bookie brush that I used to apply my foundation to gently feather out the concealer into the foundation so it's like this beautiful seamless look. You see how perfect that is? It's almost as if like the concealer never happened and my skin is just naturally flawless because it gives it this really nice airbrush look. Now I'm going in with the Fenty Beauty Match Stick in the color Espresso and I'm going to use this to first contour right under my cheekbone and then I'm also going to use it um, to contour my nose 
the temples of my forehead and also right under my jawbone to kind of give me a more sleek spilt look you know <laughs> And when you go in to blend out your contour, make sure you're using like a bigger brush because it will give it a more seamless look than if you're using a smaller brush. And it gives you like, I feel like contour is more so when you're looking for a shadow, okay? And it's going to kind of define certain angles of your face. And if you're using a bigger brush, it gives it a more, I feel like airbrush, I keep coming back to that word. Like it gives you a more airbrushed look and it looks more like a gentle shadow as a contour should be. So yeah, definitely think of your contour as like a gentle shadow, like that's barely there, no harsh lines. Just make sure everything is kind of seamless and blending together. Don't be afraid to go back in with some concealer to kind of clean up your contour lines and make sure everything is flawless. <laughs> Now I'm going in with my True Complexion Contour Palette in the color medium to dark and I'm using a giant fluffy brush to kind of accentuate and highlight the contour I already put on with the matchsticks and I feel like this further blends everything out so it's super seamless and airbrushed looking. All right, now it's time to get back to these eyes. We gotta smoke out under the eye. So I'm using the transition shade I used before right under my waterline. I initially wanted to go right in with black eyeshadow, but there was a whole lot of fallout as you can see, and I couldn't have that messing up my, <laughs> my concealer. So I went in with the black eye gel I previously used, but the line was too harsh. So I knew I had to go back in with this eyeshadow. So I used um, some of that black eyeshadow shadow on the flat small brush I used before and I blew on it really hard so there wouldn't be fallout again and I used that to kind of blend out the gel and also blend it into that transition shade. So now that the eyeshadow is completely set in place I'm going to go in with some mascara and I'm using Maybelline's Colossal Big Shot Mascara. And once you get a grip of your lashes in the wand, you're going to want to slowly rotate it to get a whole lot of product on, that, on those lower lashes so that it gives it a more dramatic effect. I almost forgot to highlight my brow bone, so I'm going in with this bright white kind of shimmery shadow to highlight my brow bone. And then I'm packing on a little bit right in the arch of my eyebrow. And I'm also going to highlight the inner corners of my eyes as well with that same color. And everybody's like favorite thing to do nowadays is highlight, <laughs> highlight, and highlight some more. I didn't go crazy with this highlight, um, and I'm using the same True Complexion Contour Palette I used earlier. Just enough, like a gentle highlight on my cheekbone, right above my cupid's bow, and down um, the bridge of my nose, as well as over that um, concealer that I put on my forehead to kind of brighten it up. You can't really see it on camera too much, but trust me, it's there, I promise. <laughs> Alright, so now we're going to get into this Fenty Beauty Kilowatt Highlighter. I'm using the color Moscow Mule. It is this beautiful pink shimmery color that's going to add some warmth to my cheeks. So I'm putting that on my contour and blending it into the highlight on my cheekbone as well. I really wanted my eyes to be the star. I wanted them to stand out for this look, so I didn't want any crazy loud lip colors. So I went with a really subtle neutral look. I'm starting with Milani's um, lipstick in the color Pretty Natural. And then I'm gonna top that with some Fenty Beauty and I'm using their Gloss Bomb, which is a fantastic lip gloss. So if you don't have it, like if you don't get anything else from Fenty Beauty, I would highly recommend this lip gloss. It smells good and looks great. So of course, once you're done your hard work, you're going to want to set everything in place. And I used NYX Matte Finishing Spray. It's honestly not my favorite. There's one by e.l.f. I believe that I used to use, but I ran out and I got this just to test it out. But it does its job. And the last step is just to let your hair be free and you're done. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I made this because so many people asked for, you know, a makeup tutorial. I personally, you know, I'm not a makeup artist, as I said, but I do play around in makeup. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Make sure you're subscribed and stay tuned for the next one. Bye.